Hello children, this is Merchant of Venice, Act 3, Scene 2, and this is the fifth part, Portia's expressions, for Avesenio has moved to choose the casket. So how, let us see how she expressed her feelings. She says, how all the other emotions, passions flit to air as doubt, thoughts, and rash embrace despair, and shuddering fear and green-eyed jealousy. She says that let all my emotions like like doubt, like rash and despair, like the fear, like jealousy, all move into the air, fly away. Oh love, be moderate. She is telling that, oh I need to calm down, make my love and my joy less intense. I am feeling this so strongly. Please make my love less or I am going to overindulge making myself sick so here we can see this rash embrace despair why it is said that she was in fear that Bassanio might choose the wrong casket and the green eyed jealousy it means here jealousy is personified and said to be a monster with green eyes now move on to Bassanio's response when he opened the casket lead casket what he find he said what find I here? What do we have here? A picture of beautiful portrait, fair spotious counterfeit. What demigod has come so near creation? Vesenio says that what artist capture her likeness so well? He says that Vesenio that the portrait is so near to being alive that the artist has almost created life. Move these eyes or whether riding on the balls of mine. It means that are these moving or do they just seem to move as my eyes move? Seem they in motion. Here are severe lips parted with sugar breath. So sweet a bar should sunder such sweet birds here in. So up to here. So he's saying that her lips are slightly separated by the action of her sweet breath. The sweet breath is so sweet, a barrier which separates such good friends. Next line, here in her hairs, the painter plays the spider and hath woven a gold mesh to entrap the hearts of men faster than nets in cobwebs. He says that, Look at her hair, looking like a golden mesh to trap the hearts of men like little flies in a cobweb. The painter was like a spider in creating it so delicately. But her eyes, how could he see it to do them? Having made one, me thinks it should have power to steal both his and leave it unfurnished saying that that but her eyes how could he keep looking at them long enough to paint them i would have expected that when he finished one of them it would have en enraptured him and kept him from painting the other yet yet look how far the substance of my praise doth wrong this shadow in underpricing it so far, this shadow doth limp behind the substance. He says that, But I am giving only faint praise of the picture, just as the picture, as good as it is, is only a faint imitation of the real woman herself, that is the real portrait of uh, real Portia herself. So he he was surprised 